Lagos, in a report, the Cable Nigeria, Buba Galadima, a chieftain of the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, has revealed the only candidate that can successfully overturn the victory of Bola Tinubu at the February 25th presidential election. You will recall that Bola Tinubu was announced as the winner of the 2023 presidential election by INEC after he had pulled over 8 million votes to defeat the likes of Peter Obi, Atiku Abubakar, Rabi Musa, Kwan Kwasu, and others. Peter Obi and Atiku Abubakar are currently contesting the presidential election results at the presidential election petition tribunal, PEPT, PET, ahead of Bola Tinobu's inauguration on 29th of May, 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. In a report, the Cable Nigeria, Galadema, a chieftain of the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, has revealed the only candidate that can successfully overturn the victory of Bola Tinubu at the February 25th presidential election. You will recall that Bola Tinubu was announced as the winner of the 2023 presidential election by INEC after he had pulled over 8 million votes to defeat the likes of Peter Obi, Atiku Abubakar, Rabiu Musa Kwankwasu, and others. Peter Obi and Atiku Abubakar are currently contesting the presidential election results at the presidential election petition tribunal ahead of Bola Tinubu's inauguration on 29th of May 2023. Speaking in a chat with Arise TV on Wednesday, Galadima claimed that NNPP has the highest chance of overturning APC victory if a suit was filed. Rabi Ukwankwaso, the presidential candidate of NNPP, finished fourth in the presidential election, which was won by Bola Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress APC. I have said that if there is anybody that can go to court successfully and challenge the mandate of the APC, it is the NNPP, Galadima said. One is because the word NNPP was not on the ballot and it is enough to cancel that election and our logo was unre unrecognizable. I beg your pardon. Also, the cumulative votes of Nigerians since 1999 have always been about 32 million to 34 million votes, but this time they were less than 20 million votes. Our claim was that the reduction in number is because those who came to vote for Kwan Kwaso did not vote because they could not see his logo on the ballot. So if we go to court to destroy this election, who is the beneficiary? He asked. Nigeria must move forward. We also know that they, they are, there are some people who are waiting to establish an interim government and we will never want that to happen. We cannot give them that opportunity, he added. Also, the chieftain of the new Nigerian uh, People's Party, Galadima, has taken out his time to slam President Mohamed Buhari. Noted that Buhari has sent Nigeria 100 years back and, and has also divided Nigeria along religious and ethnic lines. Speaking further, Galadima accused President Buhari of introducing bad economic policies, noting that Buhari met 
one dollar at one hundred and fifty seven naira but presently one dollar is equal to eight hundred and that is when one says the dollar to buy the nnpp chieftain made this disclosure on wednesday morning when he was interviewed on a rise television while reacting to a recent statement that was made by Femi Adeshuna that Buhari has achieved uh, what he promised Nigerians before coming into office. Furthermore, Galadima noted that before Buhari came into power in 2015, insecurity was coughing to the north, east, but today, one cannot travel to any part of the country with his two eyes closed. Noting that if that is the kind of Nigeria, Adeshuna and APC want, he prays that God should visit him with what Nigerians are suffering. In addition, Galadima blasted Nigerians, describing them as huge disappointment. He noted that instead of the masses to vote for those who will deliver them from abject poverty, they choose to vote for those who have given them one Indomie and 1,000 Naira, urging them to wait so as to reap the harvest of their investment. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for coming out here. Bye for now.